the first process the plan quality management this is a continuous process not done at a single point in time because the targets and deliverables you know they can change during the course of the project so this cannot just be implemented at the start of the project or at the end of the project because the quality keeps on changing so many things gets added up this thing it's implemented throughout the course of the project so let's see what outputs we have to achieve okay starting with the quality management plan as you can see this is again a component of the final project management plan so we have 10 components i keep repeating it we have 10 components in the final project management plan and quality management plan is one of those 10 components of the project management plan so what are we doing here through this process we create a quality management plan which could contain you know it can have objectives it can have roles and responsibilities of the people it will have the processes identified for each deliverables you know controlling plan you know controlling tools what what kind of tools that we are going to use to control the quality of a product so all these things like don't worry so much about the format the format is organization specific just know that these things can be added to this format even if you find in your own organization you might see a different format which might not have the uh, you know components that i just mentioned so the program management or the project management doesn't limit you from using any additional components than what i mentioned but these things can be part of it quality metrics this is everything about uh, you know how we plan to measure the defects so you might have heard the term ppm ppm parts per million it's a very famous term so this is nothing but how many defects a product can give if the organization produces a million number so this is usually given targets like you know 10 ppm is my target so the customer gives the organization a number saying that your product must have just 10 ppm you have to control your quality within just 10 ppm so just an example so within if, if you produce 10 you know 10 lakh or a million is called 10 lakhs in india so if you produce 10 lakhs parts only 10 defects are allowed in that in those 10 lakh parts or in million parts only 10 defects are allowed so such statements or agreements are made between the customer and the organization so such things or it can be measured not just in ppm but also in you know downtime per month it can be measured in failure rate you know how many parts per 100 how many parts per 1000 depending on the product if you are making huge cranes for example there will never be a million cranes made so it makes no sense in giving uh, the defects in ppm for a crane manufacturer so in that case defects per hundreds are given so all these things are captured in quality metrics yeah next thing is project management plan updates what can be updated here the risk management plan can be updated the scope baseline can be updated as outputs and uh, different project documents also gets updated you know like lessons learned can be updated requirements traceability matrix can be updated risk register can be updated or uh, might even the stakeholders register can also be updated right so all these things are going to be outputs after we finish with the plan quality management process okay let's have a look at the inputs we need the project charter to know the success criteria the project management plan as an input and uh, here you need not use the complete project management plan you can use like the risk management plan the components you know the stakeholder management plan the requirement management plan all these things uh, can be used as a basis for the plan quality management and then the project documents are also used as inputs you can see these are inputs and also outputs that just means that these are the unupdated versions and here are the updated versions of the project documents so if we go to the details we can consider assumptions log you know or requirements documents risk register again the same things that i mentioned here they can be part as a unupdated versions as inputs so and of course we have the enterprise environmental factors and the organizational process assets also used as inputs okay let's jump to the tools expert is consulted always again so here because we are discussing about plan quality the quality methods expert is usually consulted and uh, we have data gathering tools what tools can this be you know benchmarking the competitors benchmarking means finding the in class and then comparing our product with them and uh, brainstorming can be one good data gathering for quality management 
you know and sometimes people also do interviews of some experienced seniors you know industry seniors there are so many seniors and consultants who are retired and but their knowledge still stays with them so some organizations go and also interview such senior candidates uh, to understand the quality tools anyways uh, the data analysis techniques we have learned so many data analysis techniques but uh, for the sake of plan quality management the organization can go for you know cost benefit analysis we have learned that this actually checks whether the quality inspection methods are cost effective or not and then uh, you know cost of quality we just learned what cost of quality is right so that is also one data analysis tool and just also be aware of cost of poor quality decision making so this is nothing but you know prioritizing the list of solutions and then you know choosing the right one that's decision making and uh, data representations how we can represent the information more easily for quality specifically we can use you know flow charts matrix diagrams or mind mapping mind mapping you know mind mapping right or for those who don't know uh, mind mapping is nothing but uh, visually organizing the information i think we talked about uh, this before what happens here is all the ideas are written on sticky notes you know they are pasted on a blank board and then all these ideas are distinguished they are grouped based on you know ca different categories or criteria which are suitable for the product this is called mind mapping okay so testing and inspection planning some of them are requested by customer so the customer says you have to test your product for these 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 tests and uh, some are by regulation you know the government says that you are for example for a car emission the emission test has to be done before it comes on the road right so the drive test has to be done before it comes on the road so all these regulations because of the regulations we have to do the tests and uh, some are by the rules within the organization so finally the meetings the meetings can also be the right tool to achieve the quality so let's move to the next process managing the quality managing the quality here we you know actually execute what we have planned right so uh, i think i already told you this so this process is also performed throughout the project so let's quickly have a look at the outputs we have a lot of processes to cover so the quality reports will be the result of this process it might include all the issues which came up with uh, you know during the course of the project uh, second thing would be test and evaluation reports how the product or service has performed during the test phase is understood here as an output and then the change requests which were resolved are also listed and the project management plan gets updated project documents gets updated project management plan if you go to the specific here uh, the quality management plan that we discussed before that gets updated the scope baseline may get updated the cost baseline may get updated right so if you talk about the documents uh, the lessons learned register risk register uh, the issues log all these documents can get updated in the outputs 